Welcome. The liberal snowflake is back, probably talking politics again today, I think. Uh, so short sound bites, talent on loan from the mob. Um, knock, knock on wood. Um, what have I ran into? I mean, I have some complaints about liberals, okay? But I am a liberal snowflake, so I'm going to back off. I, I think liberals, some liberals need to be more thankful and more respectful of the taxpayers and take a better approach at trying to fund things and finding alternative approaches besides tax and spend, okay? So that's my defense as a liberal to some conservatives that are worthy of given to be given respect. But we've got other I should say right wingers. Um, you know, it's like uh, they they get a job like digging a ditch or something, or they get a job doing some menial labor that is something that doesn't require very much education. They don't respect education. I see a lot of right wingers don't. Uh, they don't. They don't like college. They think college is a bunch of political BS. It's not uh, all the time. In fact, the majority of the time it is. And I'm going to say 95 percent of the people going to college are interested in producing, learning things, becoming skilled and talented. Um, there's a difference, though, between that and becoming dominant over other people. And I guess that's part of capitalism, which is the part of capitalism I don't like. I mean, the idea that we're not only are we to strive to become great and to do great things, but we also need to find ways to block other people. We need to find ways to stop other people from being successful so it doesn't hurt our success because that fits in line with capitalism. Is that what we're talking about? But anyhow, well, that's just the reality of the situation. That's because you're dumb and uneducated. And it's not just uneducated people like that. There, I've met some really bad liberals, too. I, I, you know, there's bad liberals. There's bad conservatives. Let's, let's just be honest. But. You know, uh, the people that they think they're just going to mow. I think there's a lot of people that think they're just going to mow down people. They're confident. They don't have to respect anybody. We're not teaching respect. It's bad on the left wing and the right wing. The right wing, uh, especially I've seen, well, I work for a living and I don't have to be nice to you. I don't have to be polite. Uh, I, you know, you got some of these people at work factory or labor intensive jobs, and those are hard. I, I give them credit for that. And maybe they've got to have this strong sense of I'm number one so they can get through the day. I guess that's what it is, right? So I don't want to beat people down for that. If you're going around being arrogant because that's the only way you can survive in your, your environment because the people are so harsh, then you might be on the right path because you got to push forward. But, but watching people just kick the crap out of, of people for no reason, um, people that aren't even interfering with them, and they still got a, a, an issue with them. You know, I, I see that. I've seen that from some of these good old boys I've worked with. Uh, you know, they, they just were ready to fight at the drop of a dime. I've seen it, you know, street, street smart people as well. The same thing, you know, the same bad attitude is in both sides, the idea that I, I don't have to respect you, it's all about me, this world is tough, and I'm going to kick your ass. And there are people that can do that. They can. They have that ability to disconnect. They're not very humane. They're going to kick the crap out of people, push people out of their job, give people a hard time. I mean, why do people get heart conditions? The stress at work many times, the the, just the verbal abuse that people are willing to spew out on the, the left wing and the right wing, the right wing especially, uh, I can say anything. I can do whatever I want. I mean, can we? I think, you know, there, the law clearly states that no human being on our planet could do whatever they want. However, uh, money seems to allow people to circumvent this. And, and maybe that's what everybody thinks. I'll get money and power and I can do whatever the hell I want to anybody. That in itself is a problem. The idea that you would think, and I'm not moralizing, I'm talking about what's going to affect all of us. You know, it's all great when you're the big dog and you can kick everybody's butt and you're in control, but wait till your ass can't win, can't be in control and have to take a licking. Then you'll, you'll be like, well, I wish somebody had more morals and ethics. What they did to me was wrong. But when you're on top of the world, you were kicking the shit out of people. 
and had no respect for anybody but yourself and thought you worked harder than everybody else. Now you're old and you didn't have as much money saved up as you, you wanted and, and you're not getting no respect at your job. Well, I don't know. These are horrible situations. This is the existence of human life, I guess I'm describing. Um, you know, sometimes people think we can do so much. We can, we can be so responsible. But again, you know, what are we? You know, each one of us, you know, our, our social networks help make us. Do we have powerful, intact families that can back us up? If we don't have that, do we have powerful, intact friendships that can and networks that can help us? If we don't have that, then what do we have? You know, a lot of times people are the society is building, you know, the, the ones that have money and they have power, they get more. Those that don't get stripped of even the little they have. And we think that's okay because someone said it's in the Bible or it's in the secret or whatever. That we got uh, really, uh, we're far away from a caring Star Trek-like society. I'm not even sure if Star Trek society would be what we'd want. I mean, you know, you're around 10 people every day, 15, 20 people, and maybe... Not everybody's social. Maybe they don't want a Star Trek society. But of course, maybe they don't want a, I'm going to kick your ass. I'm in your face every day at work because I'm the stronger man who lifts more weights than you and I can shovel more shit than you. I mean, those aren't very good people to be around either. I don't care that you can shovel more shit than me. Um, that's not what I studied to do. And, um, you know, the problem is, though, some of these people who are in many ways not very smart, they are smart at knowing how to to bring confrontation and to bring ultimatums. They know how to create conflict and they know how to create a win or lose situation. They don't know how to work together with people, but win or lose, they understand, especially when they see somebody with something that they want. So, you know, these things are complicated, left wing, right wing. You know, if you're a piece of crap, you're a piece of crap. So, you know, that concludes my talk. Um, liberal snowflake talking about people with bad attitudes. Like my post. Listen, you know, left or right. Hope you like what I got to say. Have a good one.